Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. On the learning video, we will discuss the basic technique of basketball, namely passing and control, and how we are dribbling beginners. Let's see this video. Today I don't feel like doing anything I just wanna lay in my bed Don't feel like picking up The first passing technique in chess pass In this technique, our hands are close together and firm like a triangle Then, hold the inside of the ball using our two hands in a position parallel to the chest. Then push the ball towards the friend with the ball aligned with the friend's chest. What needs to be considered is the position of the left leg forward and the knee slightly bent. The second technique is the punch pass. In the technique of the ball, being passed to a friend by punching to the floor first. The position of the body is slightly bent when releasing the ball, and the position of the left foot slightly forward and knee slightly bent. The third technique is overhead pass. In this technique, hold the ball with both hands above your head. Position your body upright and throw the ball towards a friend with a moderate power and the chest of your head fr your friend. The last passing technique is baseball passing. The technique uses throws with only one hand, meaning your hands must be strong and the throw must also be hard. In the next material, we will discuss dribble on basketball. For the first technique, we hold the ball with one hand towards our side and we punch it to the floor with our second hand ready to receive the ball. We walk at the moderate speed with the body slightly bent. Do it repeatedly until you memorize this technique. For the second dribble technique, which is the same as the first dribble technique, but the difference is to punch the ball to the floor through slapping legs and the second hand ready to receive the ball. Do this technique repeatedly until the ball doesn't touch your feet. For the third dribble technique, that is punching the ball towards the back of our body, then the other hand is ready to receive the ball. The position of the body remains bent and the horses must also be strong to do repeatedly. repeatedly. After all three dribble techniques you can master, then do a combination of the three. The last step is to test your dribble technique, whether it is good or not. This is by placing four cones with the order with the order as in the video. Then do a dribble movement from under the basketball hold to one of the cones in front. After arriving at cones, the purpose of dribble balls towards opposite cones or other cones. Do it continuously. 
If the ball is not separated from your hand, it means that your dribble technique has been occupied. Note that needs to be taken into account when going to dribble the ball that is not upright body position because it will be able to inhibit the speech of our ball and dribble will not be maximal. And one more note, when we do eye dribbling, don't just aim at the ball with our friends. So, many video tutorials that I can thank you for watching this video until I meet again in the other learning videos. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Goodbye!